Now, I've, also, I've forgotten to do the skills thing. So let's do that real quick. Because I've been bothered by yes, that new yes. skill. I've been bothered by that new skills like notification for the entire time I played offline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I couldn't. Yeah, all right. Okay. Let's start with Glenn. So we can so learn one more skill. One more, one more thing yeah. before we can move on to the last tier or the next tier, rather. I think we should just go for a stat booster and just go for TP plus five. Hey, we have now unlocked that. Defense Stance, Fire Strike, Cheer, ooh, and Water Strike. Now, ooh. Fire Strike would be would pair nicely with Glen uh, with Glenn's own Oil Slash. What? How many turns does Oil Slash last for? Currently, three turns. Okay. Um, we've also got Auto <clears throat> Shield, which triggers Shield for Shield for three turns at the beginning of the battle. I think that's cover. Like, yeah. cover. Counter attack, shield ally, 25% to take ST physical damage for ally with VH. Oh, so <laughs> SOS shield. Ah. Uh, dispel hit. Oh, okay. 5% uh, chance of dispelling a buff when hitting them. Yeah. You yeah, know, with, um, uh, with Glenn's, like, Fat attack stat. Counter attack doesn't seem too bad either. Yeah. Yeah, because, because if you do get fire strike, what would you switch out for it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's the question we're going um, to ask. One of these two. Oh, okay. Yeah, easy then. Probably, pit, probably power pierce. Yeah. So I might go for power fire strike on that. Yeah. Especially since I don't have Len in the, in the front row at the moment. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that makes sense. Bathras. So. TP plus five, I, I, I assume. Because if we just right. get stat boosters uh, to unlock the next tier, we don't have to worry about like swapping around skills because yeah. it might end up being redundant anyway. Uh, so we've got Metal Axe. Uh, that is a so it's, me, it's basically a metal dagger, but all enemies. AOE. Dark Scythe, which is the uh, one enemy. Wait, no, it's the all all enemy version of uh, yeah of uh, Dark Spear. Excuse me. Fall and restoration inflicts debuff for two turns. When an enemy dies with this debuff, uses TP's fully restored. Fully restored. That's good in the pinch. Yeah. Well, when pinch when, when his SP is low. Summoned Ether restores TP by an amount based on the number of summons for all, for all party members. Oh, so the max amount of summons you can have because I tested this is three. Um, yeah, so you and can then do times 15, 45. 45 to everyone. Yeah, for the cost of twenty TP or for the cost of ten if you're in overdrive. Yeah, because he's more of you. He's more of you a utility attacker, isn't he? He's he's the person I bring out when the enemy is weak against light or dark, right? Um, like what do we? What does he have now? So he has like he has the all he has the AOE light single single dark. He has the single physical because he's meant to be both. He's meant to be both like mage and attacker. Uh, yeah, like physical, mixed attacker, so, that's it. yeah. Uh, he's got summoned attack, which is he needs to have. It's part of his kit. Yeah. Um, the spell, so the spell is basically lens cleanse. Yeah. And then, and then, and, and then this is single target light. Um, so it just depends on like, like, um, I mean, for example, there, for example, is, there, is, is mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I, no, I, was, I don't know actually, honestly, like I yeah, could remove the spell like, like, because if I need to cleanse something. That, I could have swap in with Len. Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, what use does Aqua have on his kit? I haven't, well, I haven't tested it out. I've only just got it. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's element coverage, really. And it, Aqua, I remember Aqua comes from the, um, from the, the cross emblem. Hmm. Yeah. And draw iron. I've not, I've really, honestly, not used draw iron. Because I'm not using, I don't have AoE, I don't have AoE Earth. Right. 
Oh yeah, Talk because I'm uh, you only got a single target earth so far. Yeah, so I might remove draw iron. Um, but then let's look at the passives here. Gain HP after kill. Um, last chance basically. HP up. Defend, defend gain. gain HP. Medigard. Yeah. <laughs> With a potency of five. What does that mean? Potency of five I've, from from what from uh, of what I, stat? I, I, <laughs> they don't they don't do the best job this uh, describing what these skills do. No, they don't. Um, so I, I remember I got to remove the move, remove the camera for everyone watching so you can see the actual um, descriptions. Uh, at this point. So I've removed, I've removed draw, draw thingy, draw, draw iron. iron. I like summoned ether. I think ether. summoned ether. Yeah. I think that's, I think that was the play. Um, Victor. So we can give him yes. what? I'd say like critical plus five. Again, that step boost is just nice and easy. Mind. All right. So he gets meditation song. Ooh. Uh, this is, is this a claim? That's nice. Yeah. Um, Rob has one as well. Beasting. A physical three hit attack dealing 0.6 damage per hit. Uh, Inflicts paralyzed for two turns. This is his version of cross slash. And um, also as well, it uh, inflicts para uh, paralyzed and that pairs well with Sienna. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> so uh, max that cross slash does 0 0.8 a hit. Yeah. Um, I reckon, I reckon um, Beasting will level up max. Max will do like 0.7. Uh, but, yeah. but then paralyzed for two turns. Yeah. That's that that's a three hit attack that paralyzes. That that's that's free. That's, yeah. That what that is is a I'm not even gonna look at the other one. Actually, I'll look at the other ones. Oh, this is AoE Wind and Earth. Ooh. Oh, did, did I not did I not just say oh I don't have an AoE Earth for um Okay, okay. Here's the thing. We get more mileage out of Beasting and Sienna. First, when you get yeah. the next one, then we do Battle of the Earth. Yeah, soft around. Okay, so that's there. So, what's going to happen is that. What do we switch out for it? Okay, how much do you need for Firestorm Spirit? I've been liking it. I, I, I put it on. I uh, put okay. it on. Um, I'm guessing you I'm don't really use Rock that much, do you? No. Put Beasting on. And then get rid of flashlight because I don't need it. Put your AI Jutsu back on. Let's level. Oops, shit. AI Jutsu back on. Let's level that shit up. So that's 3.2 damage. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Say less. Sienna now. Yep. Uh, let's give it defense. I, I, yeah, let's give it defense. Every little, every little helps. Right. Also she has nice now provoke. Support. So she, oh so she, is she, unless she's good at evasion oh here we go yeah <laughs> I was gonna 25%. say oh, are we building are we building you to be a dodge tank then yeah she's a dodge she is a dodge tank glass cannon so long as she doesn't get hit she's fine okay yeah what well, shadow step oh <laughs> because because wait what yeah. Two dodges to self. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has oh, evasionist and is... evasion master. Like, 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 like I said, like Sienna is the one who benefit like Sienna is a late game is a late game sweep sweeper. Because when we looked at, when, when we like preed all of these skills in the earlier stream, like, we I was just like, oh yeah, Selena, Sienna like mid late game is gonna pop off. And that's not to say anything of here. 
Yeah. What about dragon right, so thing? Shadow step blocks any magical damage until next turn. <laughs> oh, she, oh, she's she's meant. She, oh, she's meant to be a tank. Okay. Or, or rather, not necessarily meant to be a tank, but this tier is like, hey, if you want to build Sienna as a dodge tank, yeah, this is what you want. Um, and then Dragon Fang, one to five physical damage, dealing <laughs> amount scales with agility. Now, what if all of those crit? What if all five of those crit? Yeah, that's what I said. What if all of them crit? <laughs> um. So yeah, this so, is the uh, toughest one because I could go, I could go four. I wouldn't necessarily go for pro provoke because I've got flashlight. Yeah. Um, and what's the uh, so you got evasionist? Um, evasionist is what TP up by ten percent. There is and then there was evasion twenty five percent to get another dodge after dodging. Here's the thing: like we only have X amount of skill slots, so either build her to be a glass cannon or a dodge tank. Yeah. Can't, so can't she has all. two build options. I, 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 I do like the um, uh, glass cannon. I do like it. I do like it too. Yeah, at five percent of your character's crit, it's a critical percentage. Yes. Here's the thing. I, I like dragon fang and then crit and then crit uh, crit percent plus five. Well, only one. And so. then, yeah. So, dragon fang because that's just more potential damage. Oh, okay. Yes, but like. What would it replace? What do we get rid of? I low key might get rid of Pilfer. Yeah. Low key. Yeah, because Pilfer's like, is it even worth stealing from the Sendomoy? Yeah. Yeah, I, I would get I would get rid of Pilfer. And not, any, and not all enemies I can steal from as well. Yeah. Because honestly, like. Pilfer is kind of more of a personal skill because if you actually look at a whole entire kit, Pilfer actually stands out as being a bit odd. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's Kasakiri. But I'm gonna, yeah, like that. Okay. So yeah, get rid of Pilfer and put on Dra and learn Dragon Fang. How it's ordered here um, determines how it's ordered in battle as well. Yeah. The blade reflection is useful. Nukutake is part of my rotation. X slash yeah. always be always useful. Yeah, because yeah. that 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 tick damage is crazy. Yeah, this episode is purely going to be preparation, <laughs> preparation screen. <laughs> yeah, the episode. Uh, I realize, uh, Dragon Fang, was it? Mhm. Mm yeah. I reckon Shadow Step will come in, come in useful at some point. But yeah. Yeah. Let's win. Let's win All slash. Right. Len, uh, let's get yes. uh, with. We gave us so many passives already. <laughs> Just, uh, get with stats, too, I guess. Um. Yeah, it makes sense that she has a flying. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait. No, we can wait. No, she only has two passives. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But even still, I'm thinking like, I. Hmm. Mm. What's heavy yeah. strike? Heavy strike. Yeah, attack. 50% 50 50% 50 uh, of triggering this element on every hit. Heavy that's is a, that's, when that's they, a lot better than 5%. Heavy, then... Do it to earth. Oh, correct, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. so weakness pierce. So physical attack dealing normal damage, but deals double damage if enemies inflicted with poison. So that pairs well with... Oh, this with pairs with Rob. Rob. I mean, in my head, I'm like, I'm like, uh, is there anyone else? <laughs> is there literally anyone else that can inflict poison? <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> anyone? Anyone else? <laughs> anyone else? Please. <laughs> can anyone else volunteer? Actually, actually, well, Sienna can. 
I swear. No? Someone nope. can, someone can. No, she can, she can. It's in um Oh the, the, uh, the class emblem. Yeah, class emblem passive. Yeah. Seven percent chance. Ew. Yeah, it's not great, but <laughs> But Sienna's also not Rob. Um <laughs> uh I think it's going to get to the point where we're actually going to have to start accepting Rob's usefulness in battle eventually. Um, <laughs> but also, but also we're going to be stopping and continue the bit that all my homies hate Rob. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, he, he really doesn't help his own cause. But, but yeah, that's so actually uh, really good. Yeah. Um, because it also, it also gives, um, it also gives her, um, it gives a type coverage as well. Hello, Blue Hoodie. <coughs> My voice went weird. Hey, Blue Hoodie. How you doing? Hey, I hope you guys are having a good scream. Scream, stream. I hope I remember this game from a while back. It does look fun. It is honestly such a good RPG. Honestly. Um, yeah. Fucking love this game. It's great. Um, uh, f fire coat? Well, what, what do the coats do? I'm guessing it's like... Oh! It gives element or, uh, uh, elemental properties. To all... Or all. To oh, all. Oh boy. I can see how this could be abused. Everyone can get it. If a boss is weak I, against an element, they can all get yeah. it. Yeah. I also do like the counter TP regen as well. So I've I've had Len with counter T counter HP regen. I've taken it off now, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Let me check. Yeah, I think I did no wait, what? He definitely had it. Is it in one? Wait, is it in one of us? Might been on a previous weapon or armor. No, it was on. A, no, it was on a. Um, no, it was a, probably one of one of our older um, uh, class yeah. emblems. But yeah, yeah, I did have her. I did have her with it. Um, at one point, and it did come in handy because it did, it did show up quite a fair, uh, quite a lot. Um, weakness pierce. Yeah, type coverage kind of important. I mean, that and just gives her a physical. That just gives her a physical attack. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I still think Len should be taking uh, advantage of elements. Yeah. So. And provide and providing support. So in go like go the, the, doing the, the support works. Right, I'm gonna go for fire. So, yeah, yeah, I do like fire coat because then everyone could take advantage of um oil slash. Yeah, if possible. Um, so set skills to learn. We need to get rid of some. Of it. Potentially cleanse. I mean, oh, but no, you've taken um, off of Bathraz. So. No, I took it off. Of, I took it off of Bathraz, and that gives her a bit of type coverage as well. Third eye has yeah. been useful. I mean, maybe get rid of fire jump. I might get rid of. Yeah. Then, then I'll have no jumps. But it, it, it is fine. Yeah, fire cup. All right. Okay. So that's that. It's Len. But the way she, the way she popped off, the way she popped off last stream though. Yeah, which is like, goes, oh, oh, is that the leader? Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, adds fire element physical to physical attack for five turns for six turns. If I level up, oops, shit. If I level up once, right now it's five turns, but if I level up once, it will last for six turns. Yeah, and then the, the next one just lowers TP costs, which is, uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Learning skill takes forever, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, hello. Let's do hello, Wolf Rob. Man. Let's do. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. oh, let's, let's do, do Rob, Rob and then let's do Tom uh, Yeah. Yeah, because Tom going to take a while. Um, defense, we can give him a pack up. I suppose, I suppose we can give him defense, I mean. Right. Interestingly, Element he didn't get trap. any bonus stats from that. Element Trap yeah. inflicts one random irresistible element to an enemy who attacks the target for three turns. Hmm. So when it says irresistible elements, it means that like if I poison them, yeah, it bypasses that 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 resistance. Yeah, and basically, yeah. And, and adds it again, yeah. But it's a so random like element. Sure. Yeah. 
So this is kind of like explosion trap. Uh, leg shot um, lowers targets agility for five turns. Um, hey, mysterious, what's good? We're all right. I want to say that I want to say that. Oh yeah, you've missed like an hour of the stream. You haven't really missed much. <laughs> no, it's just been a lot of prep work. <laughs> we've I've we spent forty minutes talking about like what I did off stream, like in in preparation for today's stream, and then you know, now we've just spent like fifteen minutes learning everyone's skills, learning new skills. For I mean, um, well, like we we did redo that um, class emblem battle that you did off stream. Oh yeah, did we do a battle? Yeah, that's, that is also something. And you made it, and you made it look and you made it look piss easy. <laughs> I mean, it it was a struggle. <laughs> um, but yeah, how are you doing, um, mysterious? Nat naturopathy heals poison and paralyzed all you know what that oh, would oh. be useful for so the dragons like to inflict paralyze on everyone yeah um and i fought this unique enemy called uh decapo which was like a mushroom it also likes to poison mm -hmm. you it likes to it likes to poison it likes to poison silence and put you to sleep in one attack yeah um I lost the first time because I was ill. I lost the first time because I refused to use antidotes. But once I started using <laughs> antidotes, I was like, oh, wait, actually, because poisons, like, kind of like Final Fantasy X, poisons actually kind of fucked because poison was doing 100 damage. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. And he's, oh, and he, remember, dear, my yeah. characters are, remember my characters are like sub 200 HP, apart from, yeah. the, apart from Glenn. So, uh, yeah. And then Toxic Shock. Um, shots inflicts toxic with a potency of one for three turns can't be resisted that would pair that would have been put that would have paired well with uh, weakness pierce but none of these has been speaking to me too much maybe apart from yeah. leg shot maybe leg shot and, tox le leg shot and, and, and toxic shock honestly then it's also got like toxic resist paralyzed resist this pandemic uh, oh, um, spread toxic as well. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah. Oh, could, uh, could you redo the screen? It's gone fuzzy on my end. Oh, has it gone fuzzy on your end? Uh, all right. Let me learn yeah. toxic shot. Actually, wait. Oh, okay. I understand. So, when, when, uh, when the game says. Oh, inflicts poison for a potency of X, Y, Z. It means that um, the tick damage. I th I think at least this is my this is my guess. Um, the tick damage from the poison is going to be you know zero point eight of whatever stat it's drawing off. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Got it. Because um, set skill, Rob. I've maxed out poison shot, so poison's out up for a potency of one point five. Right. Right. Toxic. We can't see what the upgrades will look like until I actually learn it. But toxic already starts off with a potency of one. So that's just a normal attack damage for every tick. Yeah. It may just replace poison shot. Yeah. But also, I think I can have poison and toxic at once. So, get you rid know, of I, like, charging, because I don't uh, really use it. To 1.8. Even, even just like level 2 is 1.4. 1.8 6 and turns. <laughs> Like if poison and toxic shot for five stack, turns, yeah. If toxic and poison shot stack, I think I understand what they mean about Rob being a speedrunner. We might have to put some respect on Rob's name in battle, maybe, maybe yeah. potentially, potentially. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh boy. Um, learn skills. I know now. Tomka. This is going to take a while. So yeah. blue mages are hard to spec for, man. Like he's got 16, yeah, because, but, but, sixteen to work with. Yeah, because characters either have one or two build types. This guy is anything he wants. Like, look at all those stat boosters and passives. He's like, literally anything you want. I don't know and what he's the fuck to do. <laughs> and but and because like you can uh, unlock a lot, uh, because you can unlock a lot early on. He's an SP guzzling machine. 
Oh, okay. So first of all, I've gotten every single enemy, like canned enemy I can get so far. See, it's so grayed far. out. Except for one enemy that I found randomly. Uh, This one. It's in Koltara Mountain range. I found it. I was like, oh, what a cute little trumpet playing. It's got 4,000 HP. Attack stat of 130. Attack magic stat of 130. It kicks oh my, my ass. God. And now I can that fight them. I can fight them. It can survive about two hits, one or two hits from a sky armor. And um, I can fight them with sky armors. Fine, right? But I can't, yeah. but the, I can't, f to, to get the, um, what's it called? The can, to can them, I have to be fight them on foot. And I'm not strong enough to fight them. I don't yeah. think I will be I mean, for a while. I mean, it's the equivalent of the war mech in FF1, where it's just an absurdly powerful enemy that has no business being that strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, um, e or, or even like, a, or the next, the next summer comparison will probably be like Omega in FF5. You just randomly see it walking around. It's like, oh, what's this? Killed in turn one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking, speaking of, speaking of which, I actually am, I'm uh, replaying, I'm a, uh, FF five and three. I'm pay I'm playing the GBA version of five because that's my favorite version, and I'm actually playing the pixel. I'm at, yeah, I'm at, no, I'm actually playing the pixel remaster of three. Okay. Yeah, because the DS version actually like made all the onion uh, made made all of the onion lights actual like characters and whatnot. But Wait, were they, in they a were weird way, yeah, yeah. It, it, in a weird way, it actually kind of like the um uh, the pixel remaster because it's basically just like an upscaled and re and redone version of the original version so there's not nearly as much story and narrative fluff battles are so much quicker and you know how the monk was kind of underwhelming in the ds version i don't remember anything about the ds version i mean i do okay well, but like if you ask me about specific nuanced okay. stuff yeah no. well, yeah well what well, yeah because like it was it, it was the game i played the most it was the fun fact i played the most in my teenage years and early 20s but yeah the monk was really underwhelming because obviously he, he had the claws and then doing bare fisted damage wasn't doing anything and then you get one claw until you beat the gin then you get a second claw and you're somewhat okay in the pixel remaster and the original version the monks actually use nunchucks which is a lot more damage the monk is actually the, the, the monk was undertuned and heavily nerfed in the DS version. In the Pixel Remaster, in the original, back yes, to, back to monk form. kills. Yeah, monk kills things. Monk it's kills things. It clears. <laughs> yeah, it clears. It is. It clears easily, and also as well, um, black mage, back row black mage with bows. Because in the DS version, you would have to keep on um, uh, buying bows to replenish your collection because bows were like bows? literally you mean, like you mean arrows. Uh, you mean? Yeah, yeah, sorry, arrows. You have to keep buying the arrows. No, uh. in the Pixel Remaster, you just buy an arrow, and that's what it's going to be. You don't oh, need to okay, keep like replenishing it. them. So it's great. So you don't run Quality out of holy arrows. Of don't, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, no. Jump, Hamlet. Don't do it. Becky. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. I didn't even mean to do that. Sorry. I wanted us to no. quickly go through his skills real quick. Um... You haven't read them. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Hard swing. Yeah, we know hard swing. Killian. <laughs> oh, Twitch's oh, target's I HP like TP this. In percent. I like right. this because I I design skills like this. These in my RPGs. I like this. But then, is there a limit? Like, if if yeah, I will be a limit. Near, if Tomka is near death, will like will that reliably work? If I swap it with swap my stuff with a. Um, swap it with an enemy. Um, that's like full hmm. health. Cigarettes light. It's a good question. Fire uh, uh, AOE fire damage that does like normal damage. Yeah. Know your limits. Skills cost no TP for three turns. Afterwards, the user loses all TP. Oh, that is that basically go for broke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, broken according a physical attack. Uh, physical attack. Dealing four times damage influenced by a user's HP. Less HP means I'm stronger attack. Ooh, that's a Dark Knight S type skill. No, yes, L but it's, it's really weird the way it's worded. Um, if that said a physical attack dealing up to four times damage influenced by the user's HP, then I then I know yeah. that okay, basically 
if you're like near death, then then you'll reach the full maximum four times damage. But that straight up just says it does four times damage. Um. Mm. So then so, I'm like, so, so does, does it less mean, HP does it mean, mean the, does it break the four times if it, if you have less HP? Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, if four is four times the base, yeah. or or it's four is it, times or is the, it max? the max. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. wording is so oh, yeah, important. Honestly, yeah, honestly, this is like I like this is this game's biggest um, uh, criticism. The way how they word skills is not good because it's really misleading. Yeah, that's the, that's the like only criticism I have for this. Yeah. Like actually, I'm fucking yeah. Um, freak wave, a magical water damage dealing one point two to all. So we have an oh, AOE, we have an AOE that's fire that's and an AOE water. That AOE water is clearly superior because if if you think about it, the further down the list you go, the better the skills are. This could replace lens, fire, fire jump. jump, and fire and water jump. That replaces water jump, not fire jump. Well, and well, cigarette light. I mean, in terms of AOE, well, fire. cigarette light. Yeah, but that's a, that's weaker. That's one. That's, it's that's weaker, yes. One, but one like times. in terms of just AOE weakness damage. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Um, sacrifice. Sacrifice is user's life to revive all other party members, but only to one percent. That's great HP. in a pinch. In a pinch, but to one HP, one percent of HP is kind of fuck. Yeah, like you have, you, like, like you have to, like that's a pinch, and it's like they have to get their turn next. Yeah, literally. Um, R Sailor's song raises ultra move bar by thirty percent for themselves. Now I What's don't know what his health? ultra is, so I'm not going to mm. get that until I know what it is. Yeah, it's very dependent. And last one that I've got so far is uh, Spinch Power grants shield and aura for five turns. For What's everyone. aura? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's because it know. sounds good. If we know what aura is. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I so would also get... Accordion. Oh, wait, I forgot about Freak Wave. Oh, no, I haven't. So, yeah. You like Freak Wave? Mm-hmm. We like Freak Wave. And I guess I, wanna... uh, I would say also get I Cigarettes say I Light as like well. Like eight. Too. I want to get seven of these skills and then the rest on like passives and stats. Yeah. So I I, I would definitely say get them a cigarette slight since you do like the AOE fire. And that also takes some, uh, that frees up some of Len's active skill slots. Yep. So we've got, unc I might have to remove Uncanny Encounter until I encounter an enemy that can be canned as well. So I'm not going to count Uncanny Encounter as a skill. Um Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine skills anyway that I've got so far. So I could probably just learn eight of them. So which one will I not be learning, basically? <laughs> um, I said I wasn't going to do Sailor Song because I don't Sailor know. Song. Yeah, because I didn't know. I didn't know what its um, thing was. But then sacrifice. Mm, I don't think I. Mm. Actually, I might get sacrifice purely for type coverage. Because, yeah, and also as well, like, we can check its upgrade and see what the upgrades are. Yeah, they might heal with more HP. So, leave Sailor's Song, yeah. get Know Your Limits, get Convert. All right, let's start getting some, past, some some stat boosters. All right, stat boosts. Hey, Fonz, how are we doing? I would, would say... We've been streaming for about an hour and a half, and we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> um... Health. I don't know why, but I like the um, uh, the TP and HP buffs for the stat boosters right now. Yeah, because that just gives them the most amount of survival survivability and utility. Oh well, yeah, well, in that case, so let's start with the higher ones. Yeah, and then TP plus five. Oh yeah, health, and then TP. Nice. It was one I guess I'm, um, I, so, yeah, I guess I'm, uh, let's look at some passives then. Silver lining is the, uh, is the, um, last chance. Oh, that is, oh, that is sturdy from Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Last chance. Yeah. Yeah. Last well, chance. I, yeah. I'm, I'm calling it last chance from, um, what's it called? Or second chance from, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, I wonder if this game overlooked sacrifice. 
If I wonder if sacrifice counts as an attack. No, it counts as a heal. No. Okay. So sacrifice sacrifices the user's life to revive all party members to one, and this stops this person from dying. Uh, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> and it's, it, it's a passive as well, so. So, so because you know the, only, the only way I, sacrifice would bypass silver lining is if sacrifice adds the death state, okay. rather than triggers the death state via damage. You know what? I'm willing to spend a, a an uh like the groom shot to test it to find out. Yes, for science. Yeah. How was Y seven? How was E seven then? What did you think of it in the end, Font? Then uh. He's got beasts what's immunity the, already, so yeah. I'm just gonna go for like. What's what, what's inact immunity? Immunity against his element. So I got I got inflicted oh. with inact for the first time uh, well, offline. Um, basically, you can't act. <laughs> you just can't oh. act straight up. Um, I do another I stat boost. I'm not sure. Attack plus defense plus four, maybe. Yeah, you might want to start. Yeah. We've, I'm going to start from attack plus six. Hmm. Yeah, attack plus six. All right. All right, we can actually begin I mean, the game he, now, he, probably. I mean, yeah, he has more magic attacks than physical attacks. So that's why that I was like, maybe defense. Get rid of uncanny camera. Right. This is what we got. I'd say we, I'd say we level broken accordion first. It's, Sure. Uh, oh, let's just, uh, check the upgrade co the, the upgrades for sacrifice. Let's see what it does. To twenty five HP percent oh, HP. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> for fuck's sake, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> twenty five percent HP. Hell yeah! Shit! Shit! That's crazy. All right. That's cr that's actually cracked. It went from shit to cracked. Um, know your limits. Fifty percent. Know your limits. Uh, merely reduces the HP. Oh, I don't have enough to level up anyway. But reduces the yeah. TP cost for know your limits. This one's reduces the TP cost too. Oh, there was a side with survivor fifty HP. Ah. And then hundred HP. Yeah, I'm, I'll take that. All right. Yeah. We have a game to play. <laughs> yeah, we have, yeah, we have some uh, porkers to catch. Yeah, that shouldn't have taken as long as it did, but it did. Is everything all right, Becky? My bacon is absorbed the fall. Quick to the boss. What is happening? This is all right. so weird. Hey, yo! How dare you intruders threaten my piglets? Feel all right. <laughs> We're doing this. Okay, straight into it, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, ha I had to give him the fuzzy lumpkin voice. Get Gosh. off my property. <laughs> all right, he hit Frid 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 Fridolin. Fridolin? All right, he has no weaknesses. All right, so here's, the here's what Let's my rotation has been so far. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's meaty. Uh, he's if he's gonna be popping a yeah, I would say like Sopran and do heal or because it looks like he might be popping a lot of AoEs. Uh, do poetic mark first, brush first. Right. All right. Let's see, let, let's pop a cross slash see how much it does. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're still setting up. I'm a break. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Dragon Fang. Dragon Fang. That was so fast, I didn't see how much damage it did. I think um, I saw a couple of 400s there for the crits. So, like I say, Sienna's now fast. She's got her next attack already. <laughs> oh, wow, yes. <laughs> right, let me slow, let me slow down. Up. And use that again. Poison too. Yeah. 
Yeah, those are four hundreds. <laughs> That's fine. Let's hit a cross slash. Oh, nice crit. 200, 200, 350. Uh, beast thing. Slow down, see what it looks like. Aki Sazeme! <laughs> Paralyzed. 90s. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Where is, um, where is the Ajitsu? <laughs> 1300. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I tell you, when I say I feel powerful. <laughs> And attack stance. Look, look at look at the turn turn count for attack stance. Oh yes! Like I'm kicking its ass. Now, unfortunately, Sienna has a TP bit of a TP oh, yeah. problem these days. Yeah, um, it is a TP hog. Oh, we are also in fucking overheat too. So that. yeah, um, I forgot to use um, X Smash. Oh, I did it. Never mind. <laughs> oh, we got a Grimoire Shard. Nice. <laughs> well, we're back to the skill board. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually not... We're not making any progress at all. Oink, oink, oink. Oink. Um, they stopped talking. And those... And those vegetables are back to normal, too. Oh. What should I do? It's all too much. Oh, what a tragedy. A friend here. Oh, oh a friend here seems to be playing around with magic. Making, <clears throat> making animals talk and giving ob objects a soul is the, oh, of the highest magic. How can it be that a farmer has mastered it? Oh, come in first, then I'll tell you about my misfortune. Let's have a good drink. Wash down the sorrow. There. My name is Fridolin. I'm actually from, Raban, I'm from Raban and was the head of the Mage Academy. You're Fridolin of Raban? We met at the Mage Convention in, Ch in Shadoria last year. I didn't recognize you at all. What are you doing here? Well, I had enough of my life in the Brillia. Enough of this eternal war mongering. I wanted to use magic for good, but in the barrier, it was mainly used for war. That's why I fled and opted for a quiet life in the countryside. Did I, did I skip a line of dialogue, or...? No, this is your line. <laughs> oh, you don't seem particularly happy about it. How could I be? I'm the worst farmer ever! I wanted to farm without relying on spells, but my hands are full of blisters and my back hurts without any it. I'm a failure who can't do anything except magic! Another sip. <laughs> um, who who took Tomka last time? Was it me or you? Um, oh oh, I did. Okay. Being talented is one thing enough. Not everyone has to be able to do everything. Fridley, Fridley, my friend. My friend. Oh, sorry. Fridley, my friend. I think you need a little vacation first. Do you think so? There's a vacation island in the south. People from the free cities are mostly found there. Vacation. Hmm. You guys are right. Maybe I should follow your advice. Once I've recovered, I can reconsider the matter. I'll leave immediately. Here, take this as a thank you. And Becky, come on, we're heading south. Yay, my skin could use a little tan. I like that he uses the motif. <laughs> yeah, same. All right. Oh, Soul of Farness. Soul of so Farness. I've been so I've been collecting these Soul of Farnesses. I've, I've found like me three already. Uh, so I might I might have four now. Five even. So, th so I don't, these are apparently legendary materials used to create Ooh. ultimate weapons. So I've got five of these. Um, Out of the... Uh, Potentially one, two, eight. One, two, three, four, five, have. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen weapon types. <laughs> ah. 
Those were, <laughs> those are thirteen characters, by the way. Sorry, like if you like, we're all yeah. like, oh my god, this team is like so whatever, whatever. We have seven characters. That that's just over half of the character, full amount of characters that we're meant to have. Yeah, and I don't know who they are. So I'm uh, going back to the skill screen structure. Oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> we'll never leave this fucking. <laughs> <That's good. laughs>